you have empowered us. And I thank you for that. Not only have you empowered us, you have empowered our families. So now that I know I can reach out and help my kids and grandkids, I mean, as a mother, there's nothing else any more important. The biggest thing is just everything that you guys offer. I'm learning so much about my body. So as I put all the pieces together, I think I'm going to be so excited. And I, I've already gotten off all the uh, omeprazole thing. Wait, 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 pause right there. Everybody, yeah. that's not a small thing. I don't want that to be a by the way. They're learning tons of training about digestion and how common digestive problems is actually the underlying trigger of autoimmune disease. So she didn't just say, oh, I'm going to take off this medication. Okay. I don't recommend that for anybody. Don't go out there and be a wise ass and just say, I'm going to do this or have a, have an agenda around this. They're learning what the underlying issue with their digestion is. And they're learning what steps they need to fix that digestive issue so they can get off those medications. Right. So Susan, what did you learn through the program that allowed you to get off finally decades of omeprazole? Well, I think starting with the blood sugar balance, my thyroid issues, the gut issues, I know that uh, being on that has killed my stomach acid. And you clearly said you need stomach acid for the gut and the liver to work. It, it, it's a lot to absorb, but all the pieces. And if I had never joined your program, I'd be still in the bathroom every day. The thing I've done more in my life than anything has put my finger down my throat and thrown up. Mm. But here's the thing. She's gotten off of Meprazole. Yep. And she's going to have improvement in the symptoms. It's not just, I'm going to get off the omeprazole and now my symptoms are all coming back and my crest is getting worse. That's not what I'm saying. What right. she's saying is she learned the underlying issue was low stomach acid, Susan, right? <laughs> That's, the problem is not high stomach acid. It's right. low stomach acid. God, how, how did GIs get this so wrong? Okay. Anyway, so by actually addressing the underlying low stomach acid, guess what? Susan was able to get off her omeprazole. And Erica, what do you think you've learned about yourself that's really, you already know is going to be starting to improve, or I don't know if it's already improved or not, but what have you learned that you think already is, has been life-changing? Oh my gosh. Well, for me, the food mapping was actually, I thought it was going to show some, it was actually really good. What I didn't anticipate was when I got my saliva and hormone test back, that blew me away because I had a hysterectomy three years ago and I left my ovaries in and I thought, I'm good. My ovaries <laughs> are going to be great and I'm going to be fine. And it uh -huh. has been a steady decline for three years. And my hormones, as you said, are that of an 85 year old. I'm yeah. 53. This is insane. And I'm hurting all the time. And it's crazy. And you've given me the data. Okay. When you have this, you do this. When you have this, you do this. Like this feeds into this and it causes this. And like, I've got the data now. What has this information done for you, Erica? I know you're pissed off that you weren't diagnosed before and it's just sitting oh in front of your God. face, obvious as hell. So my question is, what did you take away from that? It has given me my power back. It has given me a path forward. Hell like, yes. It, I, had n I, I literally was at my wit's end. I had nothing left. And you have this data driven. I have like read a billion books and thrown so much shit, but not in the strategic way that you do it. And that's the point is it is a process you go through. It's data driven. So now I know what to do. Hell yeah. So I'm going to drop was... a truth bomb here, Erica, because you're bringing up a point that no other doctor knows out there. So everybody pay attention. Okay. This will be priceless information, what I'm about to say. So here's the deal. Do you know that if you have an underlying disorder attacking your thyroid, which most people with autoimmune disease may, so if your immune system is already mistaking your thyroid, which is a hormone-making cell, it's a germ, and it's actively trying to kill it, what do you think is the likelihood that it's attacking your other hormone-making cells that look the same, like your ovaries, like your adrenals, 100%. like your pancreas, like your brain cells? 100%. It is not by chance that Erica's hormones are a shit show and is the hormones of an 85 year old because it's not just attacking her thyroid. 
it's been trying to kill her ovaries and adrenals for the past how God knows how long. So mm -hmm. how important was it for her to learn that she had an autoimmune disease of her thyroid? How important was it for her to learn and understand her own hormones, to understand her freaking hormones and the dumps had everything to do with her autoimmunity? And the solution isn't just a hysterectomy or taking hormone, but what about stopping the autoimmune attack that's killing those hormone cells? How about that? Take that to the bank, everybody. Yeah. Why the hell are we doing that? That's a great freaking question. <laughs> Why the hell is our medical system not doing this? It's insane. And so Megan, this is the number one reason why anybody who is on the fringe of should I do Maggie's program? The answer is yes, yes, and yes. And the reason is, is because you become educated uh, and take your health into your hands instead of walking into a doctor's office mm -hmm. subserviently and just shaking your head. Yes. You know, now I walk in and I say, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and they kind of look at me and then they go, okay, you have empowered me and you have empowered so many now who have gone through this that for the first time we feel like we're not little children going into a doctor's office we feel as though yeah. we pay them and this is what we need mm. We've, i need answers and i want answers and you have given us that you have empowered us and i thank you for that i want to say one more thing not only have you empowered us you have empowered our families oh our yeah. children who yeah. have got this hereditary aspect and listen my husband crohn's and celiac mm -hmm. what do you think the chances my three daughters are having issues 100 percent, right and, and my husband we are able to diagnose hashimoto's through him sitting in the other room listening <laughs> and i was he got diagnosed by you yeah mm -hmm. i was like babe I, he goes i think i have hashimoto's sure enough and my daughter with her PCOS and autoimmune, and, everybody. And mm -hmm. the whole EDS thing that the hypermobility. Hypermobility is an issue yeah. I struggle with it lifelong. Is. It's it autoimmune, is. people. Yeah. Is. And Susan, I know you have, what is it, five children and yep. many grandchildren as well. Yep. <laughs> talk to me about what this means for you to know that not only you're going to probably help yourself, but talk to me about the impact that this may have on your family. Well, I've already told my one son that has uh, irritable bowel syndrome, but the bottom line is I've told them all, be, be prepared to get 50% from what Maggie says of whatever I've got. Two or three of my kids and my grandchildren seem like they're already showing some symptoms of mm -hmm. what I've been dealing with. Mm -hmm. so the fact that we now know it could be hereditary and that we are also through this course able to expose our family members to the blood tests and the food mapping and all these type things, I don't know where else we would ever have that available to us. Mm -hmm. So now that I know I can reach out and help my kids and grandkids, I mean, as a mother, there's nothing else any more important. I agree, Susan. Can I interject a piece of mindset work here? <laughs> I, I educate people about the genetics of autoimmunity. And a lot of times as moms or dads with autoimmunity, there's a lot of guilt. Like we think, oh, we passed this gene to our kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah we did. But you know what? If you're going to take the bad, you better take the good. Right. We passed a lot of good shit to our kids too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better yeah, get credit for that too. Know that, but yeah. <laughs> My kids got some good shit. <laughs> oh, perseverance. We are good. <laughs> <laughs> Final thought is if there's somebody sitting out there suffering with these symptoms right now, imagine Erica, you were talking, each of you are talking to someone, to someone that was you five years ago. You have one, one sentence to say to them. What is your advice for them? Barbara? Never give up. Keep looking. Find the answer of what's going on. Hell yes. And not just for you, for your family's sake. Correct. Susan? I would say don't hesitate, get off the fence and go after Maggie's program. You will be so blessed. Oh, Erica. Your awesomeness is in there. Don't give up until you get it back. Just keep going. And this program can do it for you. And Dr. Yu, we'd love to hear your final thought to anybody out there who might be thinking about reaching out for the help. This really hits close to home for me because these are symptoms that ran in my family and in me. And I sure as hell, I'm not going to pass it on to the same outcome to my children because I've changed my own outcomes. So I think about my journey, my own autoimmunity, and 
you know, I don't have anger or regret around it. What I have is gratitude. And the gratitude I have is, thank God I got autoimmune disease. Thank God I got sick because had I not, I wouldn't have sought these solutions for myself. I wouldn't have invested in educating myself. I wouldn't have gotten these outcomes enough to be able to say, hey, I can now teach it to other people and share that. These outcomes are do not have to be your outcomes. They don't have to be permanent. They're absolutely changeable. I, I you know, like be a skeptic, but for goodness sake, do something different about this because there are real answers out there. So I hope everybody out there um, takes us to heart and make some changes here and keep looking for answers because they're here. They're the here and there are places where there are answers. All right, everybody. That's going to do it. Thanks for joining us on Autoimmune Table Talk Live. We'll see you back here next week. Bye, everybody.